My name is Mark Weitzel. I'm a senior director of platform and ecosystem for New Relic. And today we're going to be talking uh, with Rishi from Sumo Logic about monitoring applications and combining New Relic data with Sumo data. Uh, Rishi, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Rishi Devate. I'm from Sumo Logic, and I'm a product manager responsible for apps and integrations with uh, our strategic partners like New Relic. So on our agenda today, we're, we're just going to do a little bit of company orientation, give you a little bit of background about New Relic, some of the things you may or may not know. We're going to talk about our partnership. We've been working together for a while. We'll, we'll go into some details on that. We'll look at some of the customer challenges, things that you are probably facing in your environments today. Uh, and then we'll talk about how you can solve some of that with the current integration that we have, and then some of the things we're working on as we go forward. So how many folks out there uh, use Sumo today, Sumo Logic? How many folks use New Relic today? Oh, oh great. So a little bit of background about uh, New Relic. Uh, we're publicly traded since 2014, and we are a data intelligence platform. You might know us from the APM space, but our portfolio has grown, and we have actually seven products in our portfolio now. And you'll see one of, one of those products today, Insights, which is our dashboarding and data visualization tool. Uh, we're an AWS competency partner in uh, DevOps, migration, mobile, and government, uh, and soon containers. We have a number of uh, Enterprise 2000 customers, as you can see here, and 50% of the Fortune 100 use New Relic. But the, the stat on this slide that I really get excited about is that we operate at cloud scale. We do two billion events and metrics a minute. And that's, that's more than Twitter does, uh, as an example. So we're operating at cloud scale in our data ingest. So a little bit about Sumo Logic. Sumo is a machine data analytics service completely hosted in AWS. We're in five AWS regions, and Japan is soon to come. And, uh, when, when I talk about machine data analytics, we're talking about structured and unstructured log data and time series based metrics data. So our customers run like tens of millions of searches a day across petabytes of data. And the key use cases for us are application operation management and security. Okay. So, and we have about 2,000 customers. Some of them include Airbnb, MLB, uh, New York Life, the BBC, Caesars right here in Vegas. Okay, a little bit about our partnership. We started this partnership about two years ago, and the goal is really two. We have two goals, key goals, faster root cause analysis. So everyone knows troubleshooting production applications, especially in the cloud, given various services, containers, APIs that folks use, is really hard. And our goal is to get to you know, faster root cause analysis whenever a problem occurs. That's number one. And number two is complete visibility into the performance, operation, and security of all your applications, uh, all your production applications. All right, so let's look at some of the challenges that you're facing in your environment today. You know, as, as we look at uh, teams and, and your dev, and, uh, DevOps teams, you have to manage concerns from multiple different areas. You have to worry about your infrastructure, applications, all the way up through user experience and your business outcomes. And as, as we start to move to the cloud, as we start to transition into more microservices and containers, that complexity actually grows and becomes more and more difficult to have and maintain that, that seamless context as you look at how I diagnose problems to root cause uh, over time and being able to do that quickly. So we're introducing complexity uh, in our environments. So part of the complicated Part of the complexity is when, when you have like dev teams and ops teams working separately, so like separate silos, separate teams, and separate products. So that's that's one aspect of the complexity. And the second the second aspect is even if they're in the same team, you know they they have they work with different products and there's no context between them. So they're doing some kind of a swivel chair management, what we like to call. Like they're moving from one product to another to get to you know root cause analysis and to figure out where the problems are in an operations or production environment. And so that's really one of the things that we're trying to look at and trying to solve today. How do we bring our applications and platforms together to stop that swivel chair management, if you will, that, that swivel chair context, so that 
in New Relic, you can quickly identify uh, a problem, and then with the integration with Sumo Logic, you can quickly see and drill down into root cause. And this is one of, one of the integrations that we have today that's, that's working. So in this uh, screen that you're looking at here, this is our dashboard uh, product, Insights. So this is how you can visualize all of the data that New Relic collects, those two billion events and metrics that we're collecting a minute. This is how you start to visualize that data. We have a current integration with Sumo Logic now. You can see in the upper right-hand corner, you can oh, yeah. see a, a chart that is actually driven by Sumo Logic and has information from Sumo pulled into it. Yeah, so what, how this works in Sumo is Sumo is running on uh, unstructured and structured log data that I talked about earlier. And so what we have is scheduled searches that run ever so often and look at your log data, pick up key metrics from there, and send that over to New Relic via the uh, New Relic webhook mechanism. And once that's in New Relic, then you can use, you can continue to um, iterate on that and use New Relic's query language to do things like you know, a sum or a count on the statistics that you get from Sumo and visualize this various, visualize that data via various fields. Okay, so that's what we have now. And now what I'm gonna talk about is what's coming. Okay. So this is something, this is troubleshooting with context where, you know, both products are, you know, talking to each other and it's easy for a customer to go from one product to another. So the workflow is something like this. Uh, New Relic user logs in to their applications to see what's working, what's not. They identify a particular problem, like it's maybe an application, uh, app deck score is too low, or the response time is very high. And with that, right from there, they can go in with one click into Sumo Logic dashboards, where Sumo is monitoring all the logs, and they can get to the root cause of why that problem occurred in the first place. Maybe it's an, a new exception that came up, Maybe it's you know a connection to the database server is gone, something like that, right? So, but they can get to here with the right time frames, the timestamps, the application name, the host name, the service names, all of that comes seamlessly to Sumo, and they can get to the root cause really quickly. Okay, so so this is something that we've been working on. Love to get your feedback. If you have you know um, any thoughts about this, feel free to talk to Mark or I. And um, this is something that you know look. We look forward to you know putting out there in the coming calendar year. So that's what we have today, and a glimpse of what's coming in the future. Rishi and I will be here for a few minutes if you have questions. Thank you very much.